MLS stadiums that no longer exist. Tampa Stadium Home to the Tampa Bay Mutiny for three seasons, from 1996 to 1998, the stadium was the main home of the NFL team, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, from 1976 to 1997, as well as many Tampa-based college teams. Tampa Stadium was also the home of the Tampa Bay Rowdies, who at the time played in the North American Soccer League from 1975 to 1986. It opened on the 4th of November 1967, and the official capacity of Tampa Stadium was set at 46,481, providing ample space for fans to cheer on their favourite teams. However, the stadium was also equipped with the flexibility to accommodate additional seating as needed. Temporary bleachers could be installed, allowing for an expanded capacity when the demand arose. Expansion during the 1970s saw the capacity rise to 71,951. Taking ownership of the Buccaneers in 1995, Malcolm Glazer recognised the limitations of the existing stadium and emphasised the importance of having a modern, state-of-the-art facility to support the team's growth and provide an enhanced experience for fans. His stance placed the burden on taxpayers to contribute to the construction of a new stadium that met the Buccaneers' requirements. The stadium, known as the Big Sombrero, would see its final event played on the 13th of September 1998, as MLS side Tampa Bay Mutiny took on the Metro Stars. Shortly after the game, the wrecking balls were in to destroy the stadium, and the new Raymond James Stadium was built just south of Tampa Stadium, whose site is now parking for the Raymond James Stadium. Foxborough Stadium Home to MLS side New England Revolution from 1996 to 2001. It was mainly the home to NFL team New England Patriots for 31 seasons from 1971 to 2001. At capacity, it held 61,297 spectators. Originally named Schaefer Stadium in 1971 after the brewery, the stadium showcased an early example of selling naming rights to a company unrelated to ownership. Anheuser-Busch took over the rights when the agreement expired in 1982. Rather than promoting their beer brands, they named it after the Sullivan family, the majority owners of the Patriots. Thus, it became Sullivan Stadium on May 23, 1983. After Robert Kraft purchased the stadium following Sullivan's bankruptcy, he removed Sullivan's name and renamed it Foxborough Stadium. Despite the official spelling of the town's name being Foxborough, the shorter spelling was used for the stadium. Foxborough Stadium played host to several notable soccer matches, including six matches during the 1994 FIFA World Cup. It was at this stadium where Diego Maradona scored his final World Cup goal in a game against Greece and also where he last played in an official FIFA World Cup match against Nigeria. Additionally, the stadium held five games during the 1999 FIFA Women's World Cup, as well as the 1996 and 1999 MLS Cups. It was also the venue for the inaugural Women's United Soccer Association Founders Cup. After 31 NFL seasons, Foxborough Stadium was scheduled for demolition after the Patriots' final home game on December 23, 2001. However, the team's unexpected success led to the stadium continuing to host games as the Patriots made a playoff run and won their first Super Bowl. The stadium was eventually demolished in late January 2002. The stadium site later became parking lots for its successor, Gillette Stadium, and is now Patriot Place, an open-air shopping center. Mile High Stadium Home to MLS side Colorado Rapids from 1996 to 2001. The stadium was primarily used for NFL team the Denver Broncos. It had a capacity of 76,000. Built in 1948, 
the stadium holds a storied past and holds great importance in Denver's sports culture. Originally called Bears Stadium, it was later renamed Mile High Stadium in 1968, due to its unique location precisely one mile above sea level. Over the years, the stadium underwent several renovations and expansions to meet the needs of a growing fan base and to enhance its facilities. The United States men's and women's soccer teams also played friendly games at the stadium, which contributed to the growth of the sport in the Denver area. The desire for better facilities and an aging structure prompted the construction of a new stadium for the Broncos. In 2001, Mile High Stadium held its final game before being replaced by Empower Field at Mile High. Today, there is a parking lot for Empower Field where Mile High Stadium used to be, but there is a mini replica of the old stadium in the parking lot. Giant Stadium Home to the MLS side Metro Stars, now known as New York Red Bulls from 1996 to 2009, and the NASL side New York Cosmos from 1977 to 1984. Giant Stadium mainly served as the home venue for both the New York Giants and the New York Jets. The NFL teams based in New York from 1976 until its closure in 2009. Giant Stadium saw Brazilian star Pele's final game on October 1st, 1977 and continued to host the New York Cosmos until the league ended in 1985. It held the NASL Championship Games Soccer Bowl 78 and Soccer Bowl 79. In the 1994 FIFA World Cup, the stadium hosted seven matches, including the Italy vs Bulgaria semi-final and four matches of the 1999 Women's World Cup. In 2003, Giant Stadium was chosen for the Super Coppa Italiana match between Juventus and Milan, typically held in Italy. The stadium also hosted key CONCACAF Gold Cup matches, including the 2005 final, where the USA defeated Panama, and the 2009 final, where Mexico defeated the USA. Giant Stadium was demolished in 2010 due to its age, deteriorating condition, and the need for modernization. As the home venue for the New York Giants and the New York Jets for over 30 years, the stadium had outdated infrastructure and lacked modern amenities. Moreover, the demand for a state-of-the-art stadium that offered enhanced fan experiences and increased revenue opportunities played a significant role in the decision to replace Giant Stadium. Consequently, the old stadium was demolished to make room for the construction of MetLife Stadium, which was built next to the old stadium and opened in 2010. MetLife Stadium now serves as the shared home of both the Giants and the Jets. Meanwhile, the New York Red Bulls moved on to their own stadium, Red Bull Arena. Empire Field Located in Vancouver, Canada, Empire Field was built in 2010 as a temporary stadium. It served as the home venue for the MLS side Vancouver Whitecaps for their first season in the MLS and for BC Lions, a professional Canadian football league team, while their original stadium, BC Place, was undergoing renovations. Empire Field was erected on the same grounds where Empire Stadium once stood. Originally built for the 1954 British Empire and Commonwealth Games and demolished in 1993. Following the reopening of BC Place, the stands at Empire Field were dismantled between November and December 2011. The turf, locker rooms and lighting masts were left intact while the stands were removed. The site is used now as a community playing field. Lockhart Stadium The stadium was primarily used by various soccer teams in the United States. The Fort Lauderdale Strikers of the NASL were one of the main tenants of the stadium from 1977 to 1983, and again from 1988 to 1994. The stadium also served as the home venue for the MLS team, the Miami Fusion, from 1998 until 2001. Additionally, 
Lockhart Stadium hosted international soccer matches, including games featuring the United States national team. Constructed in 1959, it has played a significant role in the sporting culture of the region. Originally built as a football stadium, it has hosted a variety of sporting events over the years. Lockhart Stadium underwent renovations to enhance the spectator experience, but as time went on, its aging infrastructure no longer met modern standards. To address this, plans were made to replace Lockhart Stadium with a state-of-the-art facility designed specifically for soccer and Lockhart Stadium closed its doors in 2016. The stadium was eventually demolished in 2019 and the site was redeveloped and in 2020 a new stadium was built called the Drive Pink Stadium, a cutting edge venue that now serves as the home of the Inter Miami CF. Robert F. Kennedy Memorial Stadium Commonly known as RFK Stadium, it was a multi-purpose stadium located in Washington DC. The stadium was named in honor of Robert F. Kennedy a former United States Attorney General and Senator. DC United, one of the original MLS teams, found a home at RFK Stadium. From the league's beginnings in 1996 until 2017, RFK Stadium became synonymous with the success of DC United. The team enjoyed a remarkable journey, securing multiple MLS Cup championships and fostering a devoted fan base. Primarily, the stadium held NFL team the Washington Redskins home games from 1961 until 1996. Originally not intended for soccer, it emerged as a prominent hub for the sport in the mid-1970s. Its significance in American soccer rivaled that of the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California. Remarkably, RFK Stadium holds the distinction of being the only facility worldwide to have hosted a wide array of prestigious soccer events. These include matches at the FIFA World Cup in 1994, the FIFA Women's World Cup in 2003, Olympic group stages for both men and women in 1996, the MLS Cup in 1997, 2000 and 2007, the North American Soccer League Soccer Bowl in 1980, and the CONCACAF Champions Cup matches in 1988 and 1998. Furthermore, RFK Stadium holds a special place in the history of the United States men's national soccer team. It served as the primary site for a significant number of the team's matches, underscoring its importance as a home ground. In February 2017, construction on the state-of-the-art soccer stadium known as Audi Field commenced marking a significant milestone for DC United. As progress unfolded, RFK Stadium, steeped in soccer history, played host to its final MLS match on October 22, 2017. The match concluded with a 2-1 defeat for DC United against the New York Red Bulls, bidding farewell to the stadium in a bittersweet manner. This poignant event marked the end of an era at RFK Stadium as the focus shifted towards the team's new home at Audi Field. The RFK Stadium was closed in 2019, and this year, 2023, the demolition of the stadium began and is still currently underway. Comment below which of these stadiums was your favourite.